Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the very last video for uh, 2023. Uh, I do have some other videos scheduled to go up it, uh, for the next couple of days. However, uh, this will be the last video I'm actually recording in 2023. So, that's why I said that. And people on my Discord have asked me to talk about the new enlisted update. Pretty much here it is. Um, they have talked about other things that they want to add. They want to add new um, weapons and soldiers. They want to add um, Type 99 rifles, early grenade launchers, things of that nature. That's great, and that's for the Japanese. However, they've also added a ton, and I mean a metric ton of stuff for the Soviets. And I get it. You know, you are a Russian-based game developer. Um, various fixes, tweaks, um, maps, things of that nature... Um, Ammo, re uh, ammo change reloads, basically um, what they've done is they've lowered the amount of ammo that certain tanks can carry um, to be as a balance factor, if you will. Uh, a few map tweaks, they still haven't figured out that, you know, there's certain spawns where German tanks spawn in and there is quite literally about two feet in front of them a dead zone, which means they roll into it and you get that warning saying return back to the battlefield. That's the only direction we can go as a tank. The other side is covered with a a, um, a a trench. So we can't go that way. So by the time we actually go out of bounds for about a second or two and come back, half our crew are either dead or dying. Which means we then have to get abandon the vehicle, heal our crew, get back in the tank, and then try and carry on while the rest of the enemy tanks are just free to do whatever they want. Again, I've pointed this out so many times I've tweeted at Gaijin, I've I've what not I've sent them clips. It's still not even mentioned here in the um, locations and missions, which kind of upset me, but it is what it is. Uh, they've also tweaked the UI a little bit. They still have not figured out the ability that you can just again. I when I started playing this game, you used to have the ability to toggle on or off the aggression of your AI soldiers. So if you didn't want them to shoot and you wanted to be a bit stealthy and spot and basically be a recon and whatnot then you could toggle them not to do that, unless they were shot at first. And then you used to have the ability to toggle it on where they would shoot at things that you targeted. So I, if I target a, a squad of, uh, of infantry, shoot one and then press Q, which you know points, points, paints the targets, that's when they go, oh, there's the enemy, and they would start shooting, you know, kind of thing. Well, that's no longer a thing in this game. You've basically got four dummies that follow you and do fuck all. It would be amazing if any of them even shoot at anything, let alone their own shadows. Uh, again, here's what it is. I really want Gaijin to do that. Same as machine gunners on tanks. You do realise that machine gunners on tanks used to mow down infantry that were trying to charge at the vehicle, yet the machine gunners on these tanks do nothing. They just sit there. Oh, good and talk. Yeah, literally, they, they do nothing. They just take up a space, soak up EXP, and do nothing. Yet you, you will turn on the AI gunners on planes, but you can't turn on the AI gunners on tanks. Make that make sense, please. Like, if I'm the tank commander, okay, and I spot an enemy vehicle, shouldn't my gunner realise that I'm sending him a message like, enemy armour right there, shoot. Or, enemy infantry right there, Hey, Chi, please. But no, I have to manually cycle through my crew. Again, it, it, it's something that greatly needs work. But it is what it is. Uh, so am I happy that they've added new Japanese units? Yes, even though I'm not a Japanese player. Uh, I know some people who are. They are absolutely monumentally head over heels for it. This is the other newest update. Back. Sorry about that. It's, it's literally almost 4 a.m. in the morning and someone calls my phone. Anyway, uh, so the fact that they are adding in different variants of tanks, uh, Churchills, Tiger Ones, uh, even possibly Tiger Twos, uh, is good. Uh, they've in, they they, they want to improve the APCs that they've added into the game, which is good. Paratroopers, Battle Rank. I'm sorry, but Paratroopers need to be... Bumped up to about tier four, tier three, tier four. The reason why is because gains with paratroopers on either side is over so quick that you you can't have a good game. You can't have fun. Um, also, stop rewarding people with ridiculously high KDRs who don't do anything about the game, 
who don't care about the capture points, who don't care about defending the capture points, because again, those sort of games are over too quick. Because all they care about is camping up in a house with all manners of different units and just getting a, a permanent, oh, I've got a 5-0 KDR. Okay, great. That means nothing. Again, I'm more of a, I, I, I'm a play the objectives uh, kind of player. And you need to re start to reward more players with the play the objective kind of uh, mentality. Uh, glory, glory and rewards for heroes. Um, again, this is what I'm talking about. This right here would be you um, glorifying uh, uh, people who only care about their KDR and don't care about the actual uh, uh, capturing of the points, things of that nature. Also, uh, you need to rework um, artillery call-ins. Yeah, granted, they're on a two and a half minute cooldown. That's great and all, but I'm sorry. Every starter capture map I've played, no one goes for the cap because it is bombed continuously for 10 minutes straight by various artillery on both sides. So put that on a universal cooldown of like maybe 5 to 10 minutes at the beginning of the game. End of. So you've got player, artillery, uh, player uh, uh, um, mortars, that's fine. Okay, why? Because, again, a player-made mortar has ammunition limitations, range limitations, things of that nature. That is fine. But the player call-in artillery stuff? No. Because a two-and-a-half-minute call-down doesn't mean shit when everyone is quite literally playing hot potato with their artillery on this one tiny capture point that's about the size of a gnat's dick in the middle of the open, which makes no fucking sense... What, again, this, this is the problem with games like Heroes and Generals. You could be in a barn, nowhere near the fucking radio, and you're capturing the point. I argued back then, because there wasn't mortars, there wasn't anything like that. They should interact with the radio to capture the point. I.e., they should walk up to it, hold F or T or whatever, J or whatever, and a little circle comes around, just like you do when you're planting the bomb and diffusing the bomb. Okay? Once that's done... You're forcing your teammates to protect you while you're capturing. You're for you see what I'm saying? You are forced to defend your fellow teammate while he's capturing. Um, that, I think, would be a lot better way to handle the, the, the capture system. Also, plane flying. I get it. You, you're, you, you've stuck all planes and all tanks onto pretty much uh, what would be War Thunder's uh, um, realistic... Or, 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 or battle, not their arcade one, it's the one in between that, it's either that or, the, or their realistic settings, and I get that, you're doing that for fun, but you want, for, 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 for balance reasons, however, this is a game, alright, I'm not somehow puppetly controlling a German infantry unit through, through time and space into World War II, okay, this is a video game, play it like a video game, I'm not asking for tanks and whatnot to, to, to be played like like they're nothing but what i'm talking about if it's an internal module damage why do i have to get outside the tank to repair it why can't i repair it while i'm inside the tank because guess what former tank driver here if something broke on the inside of the tank and we had spare parts for it on hand do you we didn't get out the fucking tank someone left their post repaired what need to be fixed and then we carried on so gun breach uh, uh, um, um, drive line, like, like, like gun lane drive, um, heck, even the engine or the transmission. You don't necessarily have to go outside the tank to repair it. Uh, also, why can't I control flaps on my plane? No joke. Every single plane I've got in this game, bar my no, 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 even, 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 even my Stuka dive bomber, I cannot raise or lower the flaps. Why? I, I press F to raise and lower my flaps, but they don't raise or lower. I have my air brake on my uh, on my Stuka, but I don't on other planes that had air brakes. And it even says in their description, has air brakes. So will you please stop picking and choosing what planes can control their flaps and what planes can control their air brakes and actually, you know, fucking take a look at that shit. Again, this is, this is me trying to be nice to you, Gaijin. Okay, you're making me use these curse words because you're being fucking stupid. 
Now, uh, MPM it changes to BR based on your feedback. Again, l push up, and I mean up, paratroopers of all kinds. I don't give a shit. All paratroopers, go up, go up, go up, don't go down. Uh, fix the incorrect position of APC icons on the map. Fix the bug that occurred when creating a, se a, a season of modifications. You, you know, whatever. Uh, fix the effects of stationary machine guns in replays. Okay. Oh, and this is another thing. If my tank has a bipod and I'm prone, a soldier's automatically going to be using the bipod. Why do I have to manually press B to use the bipod? That makes no sense. Please make it make sense. Um, it's just simple little little things like uh, M3D research moved from Mark One uh, Grant back to its original place. Fixed the bug that caused the mass removal of unnecessary equipment from soldiers and squads in a reserve slot not working for some players. Good, good, because I could not get that to work. Um, the fact that you've got a German uh, uh, half track with Russian crew on it, yeah. Yushankers were not issued by German soldiers. German soldiers would steal Yushankers and whatnot off of, off of dead Russians, but they wouldn't. None were officially issued that I remember, that I know of. Um, so, yeah, this is what I'm talking about, okay? Um, why can't I modify my arm, my, my, my uh, loadout? Um, yeah, I've got four rockets, yay. But why can't I, I, I swap out the ammunition in my cannons and whatnot? This is supposed to be a close air support vehicle. Okay, this is supposed to be a CAS vehicle. And that's what I play it as. I play it as close air support. I do. However, the flaps don't work. Flaps do not work. And I know the bloody commands for flaps because they're right here. Go to controls, plane, raise and extend flaps is F. I press F multiple times and nothing happens you are gaijin you are clearly cutting and pasting code from war thunder and modifying it as you see fit so fix this shit thank you that's pretty much it um this update yeah uh, it's the typical, if you don't buy the tech tree, you can't have fun in all games. This is the thing. Game developers become greedy. Uh, they find a formula that works, okay, and then they just become greedy. Case in point, let's take a look at the research tech tree. This is the German tech tree, okay? And I've already pointed this out, like the fact that this is a tier 1 plane that can only be crewed by tier 3 pilots. So I'm forced to play at tier 2. Three with a tier one plane. So my plane is under tiered, or my pilot is over tiered, which means I can get my tier one pilot and he's flying a tier two plane. I believe he, he ends up flying the, um, not the U2, it's the um, one of the BF 109s elsewhere that I've got unlocked. And I know it's not the U2. Is it the U2? No, it's not the U2. It's a tier two BF 109. It's somewhere in this lineup. I just can't remember exactly where it is. I think it, there it is the F1 so he gets to fly the F1 which means he's up tiered because of his plane or his mega up uh, or, or his or, or my my up my tier 3 crew get completely down tiered by playing flying a tier 1 plane you do the same with tanks why are you doing this to the Germans do you do you seriously hate the Germans that much and this is another thing Entry level to APCs, okay, is pay to win. Why? Just, just why? Upside, we do get an early, early semi-automatic semi battle rifle. Downside, tier two. Ah. Uh, yeah. So... Oh, we, we, we could get a, a premium squad that uses Gavers. Great. Cool. Again, not worth it. So, this update. Polished turd, but still a turd. Anyway, guys. 
Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next year.